Hello today's video we have the following content. The 7 most famous actors from Beijing, the number one showbiz leader, see how many you know. Did you know that in addition to the highly regarded Hong Kong actors, Beijing also has a large number of well-known powerful actors. Among them, 7 are particularly worth mentioning, and the best of them are even hailed as the leaders of the Chinese showbiz and the benchmark of the industry. So, who are these people? And what outstanding works have made them stand out in front of the public? Su Quang, known as the Pearl of Beijing, is a unique and dazzling landscape in the Chinese showbiz. With her unique charm and talent, she has added a different bright color to the showbiz. Whether on the screen or in life, she exudes a charming brilliance that makes it impossible to ignore her existence. Her unique performance style has been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people and has become a goddess in the hearts of many audiences. Su Quang, this talented lady, was born on January 22, 1969 in Beijing, a city full of cultural atmosphere. Her family is full of bookish atmosphere, which can be said to be a real family of scholars. Her father is a brave soldier who silently dedicates himself to the peace of the country and the happiness of the people, while her mother works in a song and dance troupe, using her artistic talent to bring joy and beauty to people. Growing up in such a family environment, Su Quing is naturally extraordinary and talented. Her family background is very prominent. Her grandmother and many uncles and aunts are excellent diplomats, each showing outstanding style on the international stage. And her great-grandfather is Shuang Wenqing, the last Senate speaker in the history of Hubei province, which is undoubtedly a symbol of family honor. Growing up in such a family environment, she is naturally deeply influenced and has an extraordinary vision and accomplishment. Su Quing was born in a prominent family, which undoubtedly laid an extraordinary foundation for her life. Her academic achievements have always been outstanding, which is indeed a fact. Under the careful care and careful guidance of her family, she has shown excellent learning ability since she was a child. Whether in class or at home, she can listen carefully, study diligently, and continue to achieve excellent results. Such performance not only made her family feel relieved, but also filled her with confidence and motivation. She believed that she would be able to achieve more brilliant achievements in the future. Because she loved a man who was engaged in the film and television industry, she finally decided to enter the acting industry and started her acting career. She chose to follow her feelings and stepped onto the stage full of challenges and opportunities, hoping to fight side by side with him and write their wonderful stories together. In 1990, Su Quing was still studying in the acting department of Beijing Film Academy. At that time, she received an invitation from Chiang Cage to star in her first film Walking and Singing. Unexpectedly, this movie made her quickly popular and became the focus of everyone's attention. In 2001, she became a household name overnight with the role of Ren Yingying in Swordsman. She has a beautiful face and superb acting skills that make people fall in love and pursue her. Every expression and every movement of hers makes people fall in love with her and fascinate people. Her talent and hard work have made people full of expectations and trust in her acting career, and she has become an idol and role model in the minds of many audiences. Now she is over 50 years old, but she still maintains that charming demeanor. However, it is regrettable that despite her rich and colorful emotional journey, she has never entered the palace of marriage, and there are no children to accompany her. Hu Jun, known as the model of a tough guy in the domestic entertainment circle, reveals a trustworthy elder brother style in every word and deed, which makes people feel reliable. Whether on stage or in life, he shows a steady and powerful image, which makes people admire him. Hu Jun was born on March 18, 1968 in a family with a strong artistic atmosphere in Beijing. His father is a baritone singer of the Navy Political Department Art Troupe. He not only has profound artistic attainments, but also personally participated in the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea, and made outstanding contributions to the country and the people. My mother is a drama actor in the Air Force Art Troupe. Her performance is always full of charm and unforgettable. My uncle is a talented songwriter and soprano singer. His singing can always touch people's hearts and make people intoxicated. My aunt is also a soldier. Her tenacious spirit and selfless dedication always make me admire her deeply. They are all role models in my life. Their experiences and stories have always inspired me to keep moving forward. Hu Jun is the only child in the family, so he grew up under the strict education of his father since he was a child. His father has high requirements for him and hopes that he can become a promising person. Although Hu Jun sometimes feels a lot of pressure, he also understands that this is his father's expectations and care for him. Under his father's strict education, 
who Jen gradually formed his own character and way of doing things, which also made him stronger and more confident in his future life. In 1987, Hu Jen successfully entered the performance department of the Central Academy of Drama to study, and was elected as the monitor because of his outstanding performance, shouldering the responsibility of leading the class. After graduation, I was fortunate to be assigned to work at the Beijing People's Art Theater, starting the starting point of my acting career. In 1990, I was fortunate to participate in my first personal movie, which was an important milestone for me. In 2003, I won the love and recognition of the audience for starring in Demigods and Semi-Devils, which shocked the entire entertainment industry. This work not only made me famous, but also opened the door to more acting opportunities for me. The role of Hiroki Aofeng he played was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people and unforgettable to the audience. Because of this, he was given the reputation of Hard Man Hu Jen. This title is not only an affirmation of his superb acting skills, but also a recognition of his unique charm and tough guy image. From then on, he left an indelible impression in the hearts of the audience. In the eyes of many people, Hu Jun's version of Gi Elfeng is unique and is not inferior to the classic version of Wang Rihua. This version of Gi Elfeng is not only deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, but also has become a unique memory in everyone's mind, which is unforgettable. Now, at the age of 56, he is still active in the film and television industry, bringing shocking performances to the audience. For example, in the movie Changjin Lake, he played the role of Thunder God. The moment of his heroic sacrifice touched the hearts of many audiences and made people cry. He Bing, the fifth-ranked actor, can be said to be an underestimated shining pearl in the entertainment industry. His performance is pure and real, as if only his superb acting skills are shining. Every performance of his makes people feel his deep understanding of the role in his persistent pursuit of art, which really makes people have to admire his acting skills. He Bing was born in Beijing on April 26, 1968. He has developed a strong interest in acting since he was a child. With his outstanding acting talent and unremitting efforts, he successfully entered the performance department of the Central Academy of Drama, and successfully entered the Beijing People's Art Theater after graduation. His talent and hard work made him stand out in the entertainment industry and become one of the most watched actors. However, at the beginning, he could only take on some insignificant supporting roles and did not have much room to play. It was not until 1993 that he played a role in the drama Birdman. With his seven-minute shocking performance, he began to stand out and won the recognition of the audience in the industry. Later, he been gradually got involved in the field of TV dramas, but at first, most of the roles he played were small roles. It was not until 2005 that he challenged an important role for the first time, bringing a brand new experience to the audience. This year, he starred in a suspenseful reasoning drama The Great Song Dynasty Judge, which immediately sparked heated discussions among the audience after it was broadcast, and the ratings soared all the way, setting a new record. He Bin also became completely popular with the role of Song Si in the drama, and was loved and recognized by the audience. I thought his achievements had reached the peak, but later I found out that it was just the starting point of his brilliant legend. In 2017, he played the role of Lu Zilin in White Deer Plain and performed quite well. He successfully showed the versatility of this role, showing his shrewdness, highlighting his lustful nature, and showing his treacherous cunning. What's more worth mentioning is that he also cleverly showed the unexpected contrast of this character, making the whole character image more three-dimensional and vivid. His performance is full of vitality and amazing explosive power, and he can always vividly portray the characteristics and emotions of the characters. He is good at incorporating passion into every role, allowing the audience to feel a strong emotional impact while appreciating it. In addition, he has a deep understanding of humor and can grasp the audience's laughter just right, making people feel his performance charm again and again. Such acting skills are really shocking and unforgettable. Although Ebing's acting skills have reached the level of perfection, it was not until he was 50 years old that he finally won the title of the first TV king in his life. This fully proves that superb acting skills may not be recognized immediately, and sometimes it takes time and opportunities to accumulate to gain honors. Hebing's persistence and hard work finally paid off, which is also an important milestone in his acting career. On a certain question and answer platform, Hebing was praised by netizens as China's most underrated actor, and when Jin Xing mentioned him in a program, a certain video platform immediately popped up a striking barrage, no one else. This scene vividly shows Hebing's unshakable lofty status in the hearts of the audience. Hebing, 
a 56-year-old veteran actor, is still active at the forefront of the film and television industry. Not only did he constantly challenge himself in front of the camera and create a series of fresh new characters, he also made cross-border attempts and directed two dramas, The Orphan of Shao and The Prize, showing his multifaceted development strength. His success has undoubtedly set an example for many artists and also allowed us to see the infinite possibilities of the road to art. The fourth is Liang Wanhua, who is affectionately called the fattest male protagonist in domestic entertainment. This title is not derogatory, but highlights his unique charm. In the entertainment industry, he has won the love of the audience with his strength and acting skills. Even if his figure is slightly plump, it does not affect his position in the hearts of the audience. His performance style is natural and real, close to life, and makes people feel kind and real. Liang Wanhua was born in a doctor's family in Beijing in 1964. Because his parents were busy with work, he lived with his grandmother in Tianjin since he was a child and spent his childhood. It was not until he was in elementary school that his parents took him back to Beijing to let him continue to grow and learn there. Under the influence of his grandmother, he showed a strong love and interest in acting at a very young age. This interest, like a seed, took root in his young heart, making him full of curiosity and yearning for the world of performance. After watching the drama The House, he was deeply touched, especially with his mother's company, the passion and reality on the stage deeply moved him. So he made up his mind to become an excellent drama actor in the future and used performance to interpret more life. In the end, he successfully joined the actor training class of Beijing People's Art Theater and made wonderful appearances in many dramas. With his relaxed and natural performance style and solid line skills, he won the love and recognition of many audiences, became a shining star on the stage of Beijing People's Art Theater, and supported half of the theater. Since 2000, he has emerged in the field of TV dramas with his outstanding performance in the TV series The Happy Life of Poor Mouth Zhang Daman, and has won the recognition and love of the audience. However, what really made Liang Wanhu shine was undoubtedly the Detective D. Ringi series. This series won him the love and recognition of the audience and also made him a pivotal position in the entertainment industry. With his superb acting skills and deeply rooted character creation, Liang Wanhu successfully created the classic image of D. Ringi which made people fall in love with him. With his outstanding performance in the role of Di Rinji, he quickly became popular all over the country and became one of the well-known male actors, deeply loved by the audience. The 59-year-old Liang Wanhua is still active in the film and television industry. He continues to contribute to China's film and television industry and constantly promotes the development of the industry. His existence has injected new vitality into the industry and allowed more people to see the infinite possibilities of Chinese film and television. Wu Jing, the highly recognized national tough guy, has not only won the reputation of Chinese film promoter, but also been praised as the king of martial arts. With his deep love for movies, he has created admirable images of men with strength and sweat, which makes people deeply admired. Wu Jing, as a descendant of the Manchu's Hengbei banner, his Manchu surname is Ulanala. He was born into a martial arts family. On April 3, 1974, he came to this world, and the starting point of this world was the prosperous Beijing. Wu Jing has been immersed in the atmosphere of martial arts since he was a child, and this background has laid a solid foundation for his brilliant achievements in the entertainment industry and the future. Under the influence of his family, Wu Jing has developed a strong interest in martial arts since he was a child, and has invested a lot of time and energy to learn and practice. His efforts have not been in vain. He has made remarkable achievements in martial arts. He has won the championship of boxing, gunmanship and swordsmanship in national martial arts competitions many times, showing his outstanding martial arts skills and extraordinary strength. Wu Jing has an enviable idol face. When he was young, everyone said he was a little fresh mate. But he was not satisfied with such a label and always wanted to break the audience's stereotype of him. After that, I have been trying to seek transformation and breakthroughs, so I took on many police and gangster films and action movies in Hong Kong. Until 2012, I decided to return to the mainland to develop and starred in the highly anticipated TV series I Am a Special Forces Soldier, The Blade Out of the Sheath. This work allowed me to show different acting styles again, and also won the warm love and recognition of the audience. Wu Jing's popularity has been significantly improved because he successfully played two completely different roles in the same work. His outstanding performance made people take notice of him and also took his acting career to a higher level. This breakthrough not only showed his excellent acting skills, but also made him a highly anticipated star. After that, 
he devoted himself to the creation of military-themed films. Through the Wolf Warrior series of films directed and starred by himself, he successfully created a deeply rooted tough guy image and made his name widely known. This 50-year-old actor is really an evergreen in the film and television industry. His works have been continuous. The total box office of the films he starred in has surprisingly exceeded the 30 billion mark, making him the first actor in the Chinese film and television industry to achieve this box office achievement. It is really admirable. Jiu, this actor who is loved by the public, is affectionately called Jie Da Yi. He is not only a star loved by the audience, but also the first Chinese actor to win the Kung Film Emperor. This achievement makes him unique in the film industry. Jiu, an artist born in Beijing on April 19, 1957, did not actually have a strong interest in acting since he was a child. What's more worth mentioning is that because he was thin when he was a child, he was even responsible for feeding pigs for two or three years. This experience in his later performance on the screen. The dazzling image formed a sharp contrast, which made people sigh at the vicissitudes of fate and the incredibleness of life. With his practical experience in pig farming, he finally successfully entered the National Federation of Trade Unions Art Troupe. This experience not only trained his patience and carefulness, but also taught him how to find the beauty of life in the ordinary, so as to integrate these insights into his own artistic creation. Therefore, he was able to stand out from any competitors and successfully join the art troupe, opening a new chapter in his artistic career. Two years later, he once again shone in the film world. With a masterpiece to live, he won the title of Best Actor at the Cannes Film Festival, showing extraordinary acting skills and profound artistic attainments. He later became a leader in the trend of Lunar New Year films, bringing audiences a series of classic masterpieces such as Party A and Party B and If You Are The One, which were deeply loved by the audience and became famous. Song Dadan is known as the Queen of Sketches. Her status in the sketch world is unmatched and she is loved by the audience. Her performance style is humorous and always brings laughter to people, so she has won the love and recognition of the audience. Song Dadan, a talented artist, was born in Beijing in 1960. After completing her studies at the Beijing People's Art Theater's performance training class, she chose to stay and continue to work as a drama actor at the Beijing People's Art Theater, bringing countless classic roles and profound performances to the audience. With her solid acting skills and deeply rooted performance style, she has won the love and respect of the audience. In 1999, she worked with the famous sketch actor Zhao Banshin to perform the sketch Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, which made her famous and quickly became popular. Since then, their combination has won wide recognition from everyone and has become a highly anticipated golden partner, bringing endless laughter and happiness to the audience. Their tacit cooperation and outstanding performance have made people feel endless fun and surprises, and have become an indispensable part of people's hearts. In addition, Song Dandan has also achieved great achievements and honors in the field of TV dramas. Her acting skills are highly recognized and she has created characters that are deeply loved by the audience in TV dramas many times, becoming one of the most watched actors in the TV drama industry. Her works cover a variety of genres and styles. Whether it is a costume drama, a modern drama or a family drama, she can interpret the role vividly with her excellent acting skills, which makes the audience fall in love with her. It can be said that Song Dandan's performance in the field of TV dramas is very outstanding and her talent and hard work have also won her praise from many fans and industry insiders. She starred in TV dramas such as Home with Children and Quintero's Happy Life, each of which attracted the attention of many viewers and had considerable ratings. She is a leader in the Chinese entertainment industry. Her name has long been a household name, and almost everyone knows it. She is now 63 years old. Although she no longer appears on the stage of the Spring Festival Gala, her figure still appears frequently in front of the public. We can often see her active figure in various variety shows. She still maintains her love in pursuit of art, and constantly brings joy and touch to the audience. What do you think after reading the introduction of these seven actors? Do you know any other well-known actors from Beijing? I look forward to you sharing your views and ideas in the comment area. Let's talk about it together. The content and pictures of this article are collected and compiled from the internet. The main purpose of our creation is to convey the positive energy of society and bring positive influence to everyone. Please rest assured that there is absolutely no vulgar or bad content in the article. If you find that our content involves copyright issues or infringes on someone's rights, please contact us as soon as possible. We will attach great importance to your feedback and delete the relevant content as soon as possible to ensure that your rights are protected.
At the same time, if you have any questions about the events we published or think there are inaccuracies, please feel free to contact us. We will verify the situation as soon as possible and delete or modify the relevant content as needed to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the information. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,